Hello, Taurus. Welcome to another timeless general love reading. First card out. Seven of Earth or Seven of Pentacles. Oh, another seven. Nice. Divinity. Seven of Air or Seven of Swords. Oh my God, Taurus. Seven of Cups. Taurus, what is going on with you? Your entire first row is sevens. You have three sevens. Seven, seven, seven. Divine intervention, Taurus. Something is being divinely intervened in your life. Nine of fire. You know what? I'm just going to say it the way we all are used to. Nine of wands, okay? I do see that it's fire, but I call it wands. So that's what I'm going to do. Life experience. Wow. This is um, the tower card in the regular tarot deck. Now, this being here in the center position of your spread, this becomes part of your overall energy combined with the bottom of the deck when we get, get to that point. Queen of Cups. It's definitely in love. Something is being divinely intervened in love. Absolutely. Divine guidance and intervention. Absolutely. With the tower card here. Another nine. Jeez. Nine of swords. Okay, so now you have three sevens this way, two nines this way, the tower. This is not, not necessarily a bad thing, Taurus. Don't fret. Page of Pentacles. Okay. And in the outcome position, Two of Wands. Wow. Okay. Bottom of the deck and part of your overall energy now. Eight of Swords. So the tower comes in and causes, I mean, the tower, it's like the devil card. It, it brings with it fear. It generally always does bring with it fear. I just want to adjust the card because I realize now that you likely can't see them that well. You're not going to see them perfectly anyways because of the camera situation and everything, but there, much better. Okay, um, give me a minute to take a look at your cards, get a feel for the energy and any messages coming through, Taurus. Okay, Taurus. What I want to do is go over your overall energy here first. Wow. Eight of Swords on top. Right underneath you have the Eight of Cups. You have the Seven of Cups. Underneath here you have the Eight of Cups. You have the Seven, Eight, and Nine of Swords. You have the Tower and the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is all about feeling trapped within this Tower situation. Whatever it is that's going on for you right now, this Tower moment, they're always, <coughs> excuse me, they're always divinely guided. I knew when the first three cards came out that you were being there was divine intervention taking place here. Then when the tower comes out, that tells me you definitely are being divinely guided in, in a very specific direction. Because it's such a sudden um, downfall, I guess is the word I could use, but it's not really a downfall. It feels that way to you, and that's why it's causing the fear. It's, it's tearing away the things that are no longer serving a purpose to you. 
So the tower comes in to remove that which is no longer necessary in your life. It might be something that you truly believed would be there forever or someone, a situation or an individual or something that you believed would be there either for a long time or forever. It's being pulled away from you now. And because you weren't expecting it, obviously, it's causing fear and concern and worry and upset. You are at a place where you've done all you can in regards to this situation. Like I said, you're being divinely guided. The divine is intervening because everything at this point and from this point forward is definitely all about divine timing, okay? So you've done everything you can up to this point. There needs to be a break in action right now. You are being asked to just take a step back and wait and see. That possibly, it feels to me that some of you maybe have forced situations or a situation in your life because it's something that you wanted so you pushed forward for it and it didn't work out the way you had planned so now you're having to revise your plans and basically what that comes down to is you were trying to force something while being divinely guided that it just wasn't the right timing for okay and now you find yourself in a place of needing to make a decision and be careful with whatever decision you make. Make sure that you do your due diligence before you make that decision this time because in making this decision back here that you um, pushed for because it was something you really wanted, it, it didn't happen anyway because it, it wasn't the right timing. It wasn't the right thing and it wasn't definitely wasn't the right timing for you. So take the time. Take that step back like you're being asked to do and just research. Figure things out. Try to move through any illusion that's here and any confusion that you might have around this. Don't give up. Don't give up your forward movement in your world. I'm not saying don't give up on this situation. This situation might be done. We'll, we'll kind of try and figure that out as we move forward here, but don't allow it to stop you from moving forward and, and having the courage to believe in yourself and what you're capable of. Because this tower came in and I feel like it kind of stripped you from, um, self-reliance, self-confidence possibly, belief in yourself. Trust your intuition. You're being asked right now to move through any illusion and confusion that you might have. Go within. Use your intuition. Go within and figure out just exactly what it is that you want and need as far as partnership goes, as far as romantic relationships go. Avoid, avoid being in your head. Avoid the overthinking, the overanalyzing of the situation. Um, this is expecting the worst. And it, it, when we do that, it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. You, you, you know, the law of attraction states that what you put out, you get back. So if this is the energy that you're putting out, that, you know, the worst is going to become of this, that's it, it's over, it's done, I'm never going to find somebody to love or who will love me, that's where you're going to remain stuck, alone. Because the universe is going to bring that to you, being alone. I know I say this probably just about every recording, every reading that I do, but it's so important for all of you to understand, and there are new people watching my videos all the time, so I'm going to say it in every video. I'm sorry. It's important. Your thoughts 
are the electrical impulse that you put out or the electrical vibration that you put out to the universe. Your emotion, your feelings, that's the magnet. So you can think something, but if you're not really believing it and feeling it, you're not drawing it to you. So you're almost better off to stop thinking, get out of your head, stop thinking, and just start feeling. And what I mean by that is um, people will say, if you want love in your life, then feel love. Well, that, you know, that's... <laughs> That's kind of confusing because when you don't have love in your life, how do you feel love? Well, here's how you do it. Be happy. The vibration of happy is no different than the vibration of love. When you're in love, are you happy? Yeah, you are. It's the same thing. Now, there are different levels. You know, there's happy, there's joy, there's bliss. Okay, so baby steps. You're going to have to start at happy. <clears throat> Now, if there's someone in particular that you have in mind that you would like to be with, think about them and then put the emotion to them. How you think it would feel to be in that relationship with that person. How exciting it is to fall in love. Do you remember how that feels, falling in love with somebody? I remember the first time I fell in love. It's crazy. It's such a wonderful feeling. Try to feel that if you can. If you can't, just find reason to be happy. Just feel good about your life. Be satisfied with what you have. That will be the magnet to other things being delivered to you that make you feel the same way, that make you happy, okay? Because this, expecting the worst, the universe is going to bring you the worst, okay? Now... <sighs> What you really want to do, what you want to do, Taurus, is you're hoping for the very uh, best to come. You're expecting the worst, but you're wanting the best. You want your desires to be manifested in real world, in your world. But this is going the opposite direction. Expecting the worst, being in your head, being mentally conflicted about this situation, about this tower moment that's come in. Being fearful that things are not going to turn out the way you want them to turn out. That is definitely going to create that outcome. Now, the outcome here, the Two of Wands... This is all about um, making a decision. Continuing to move forward, but making a decision to continue to move forward in whatever direction it is that you decide you want to go in. Um, I'm going to use this deck. Guys, I apologize. I'm not... I've, I've unboxed this, and it was probably over a year ago that I purchased this little deck. I uh, Honestly, I cannot remember the name of it. So I apologize. This is a deck that is not going to be below, and I can't tell you what, what it is. I do want to clarify some things here. Point out that your overall energy is the eight of air or eight of swords and that's because the seven of swords you 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 climbed one higher here you see that right you were at the seven of swords because whatever it was that you had planned how you planned this to be did not work out so that caused you to go to this place of fear. And that going to the place of fear is what climbed you, climbed you? <laughs> what took you higher and into the Nine of Swords. 
that will become the Ten of Swords if you allow it, okay? You're just going to keep going higher and higher. Now, the Ten of Swords, granted it's a ten, you can't go above that. That is the ceiling. It does involve intense pain. You don't want to go there. You really don't want to go there. I know you don't. Nobody does. The best thing you can do at this point in time is to just what your guidance is saying. Just relax. Take a step back. Allow timing to take place, divine timing, because that's where you're at. You're being divinely guided. It's all about divine timing. It's, it's timing. That's all it is. It's maybe not the right time for this partnership. It's maybe not the right time for a partnership, a romantic partnership. It's maybe not the right person. It's not you're maybe having to go through a spiritual growth and expansion. Maybe the other person is. You know, it's going to be different for everybody, but whatever it is, it comes down to divine timing. It's not the right timing. You have two cards here that say the same thing. This seven of pentacles is all about timing, divine timing. The seven of swords is all about plans not turning out as you had hoped because of poor timing. Right? And then because of that, you got sent into a place of confusion and things being illusionary or you having delusional perception. But don't stop moving forward. Keep moving forward. You need to keep moving forward. This tower came in for a reason or is coming in. If you haven't experienced this yet, it's about to come in. Don't fear it. It's taking you to someplace so much better. It's about spiritual growth in um, intuition. It's about your intuitive abilities. Growing those. You're being up-leveled is what this is saying. Allow that to take place. But you need to move forward on your own for this to happen. Okay, let's... Um, Let's clarify the Seven of Swords, Angels. Why is the Seven of Swords here? This, this fear of being trapped where you're at, being stuck, that is, that's an illusion. You're, you're in a place of illusion. And because of that, you're seeing things the wrong way. And that's why you're just, you're going to continue to do that if you move forward that way in, in the situation you're in. Allow the tower to remove what needs to be removed and keep moving forward. Then you'll be fine. Yeah, see? <laughs> Big surprise. The hanged man, right? It's about, like I said, taking a step back. You need to take a step back because it's the wrong timing for this, whatever this is. But you do have a decision to make. Let's clarify the Seven of Cups. Let's see if we can figure out what that decision is, other than letting go of these plans that didn't work out and letting divine timing take place here. But let's just... Thank you, angels. Six of Wands. So there wasn't enough, um, there was either too many options for you to be successful. This is all about your plans, the plans that have failed. They didn't turn out as you had hoped. And that's because either there were too many options and it what I'm being shown is <clears throat> having so many options available to you that it's almost impossible for you to make the right decision without doing um, your due diligence. I don't, I'm trying to figure out the best way for me to explain this. Um, go within, 
there you go. That's what it's all about. It's about you. Uh, it's about you um, expanding your intuitive abilities. So this is how it takes place. You need to when you when you are fronted with all of these options and you're having trouble making a decision that's when you need to go within in order to choose a direction that didn't take place and that's why you didn't have success that's why things didn't turn out as you had hoped they would you didn't take a look uh, I'm not pointing my finger at you Taurus please there is no judgment coming from me I'm just trying to give the story that I'm getting the message um, when we're faced with that much information all at once we have to pick we have to go through each bit of information and sift through it and sort through it and decide what's truth what's not truth what we do want what we don't want and I feel like you maybe jumped into something a little bit too, either too fast, probably too fast because it's the wrong timing, right? So time needed to be taken to figure this out a little bit better for yourself. Let's do the tower. Why is the tower? Thank you, angels. Queen of Wands. The tower stepped in or, or divine stepped in with a tower moment to bring you what it is you really want. Whatever this situation is up here, whatever this, who this person is or what this situation is, the tower, your guides, your angels had to step in and remove this because what it is that you really want is on its way in. That is the divine timing, okay? The timing was wrong with this person because this isn't the person. Let's clarify the two of wands and then I wanna get, um, I wanna go to the oracle cards and just get a little bit more guidance and then we are. Aren't these cards cute? Five of Cups. This is all about um, you having made a decision that, that you will regret or you were about to make a decision that you would regret. For some of you, you made the decision and you are now regretting it. But what this is saying is move forward, keep moving forward, make the decision to move forward because you do have, you know, in, in most tarots, you'll see the five of cups as the person being depressed and sad and regretful, looking down at the three cups that have spilled out, but they don't realize that there's two perfectly good full cups of love behind them. So that's what this is about. You have regrets about this situation, but try to not block yourself from seeing, again, we've got a two here and there's the two cups in the five of cups. There's another, another relationship on the horizon that is meant for you, that, that it's all about the timing of it, but it's on its way in. That's why the tower had to take place. Now, bottom of this deck becomes part of your overall energy as well. King of Swords. So this could be the person up here, okay? Um, yeah, look at underneath the King of Swords. Something's coming to an end so that something new can come in, okay? So for some of you... For some of you, this is the person you are involved with up here that the tower takes away from you. 
For others of you, if you're not in a relationship with a king of swords right now, then this could be who's coming in for you. Okay, this is, I'm talking about this position down here. So, like I said, don't let this tower experience ruin everything else for you. You have somebody else that's meant for you coming in. So, to move through the illusion and all of the confusion with all the different things that are coming at you, all the options, the choices you're having to make, go within. Go within and use your intuitive abilities to get yourself to this new place where you are in the receiving mode of this new person. The Seven of, of Pentacles, the divine timing, if you, if you allow the timing to be what it's meant to be, to bring to you what you need. If you haven't gone through the tower experience yet, if you allow this to drop away from you, the tower is not going to come in. You will avoid the tower situation. You will go from here to here. Okay? It's never pleasant, but it is taking you to what you really want. Okay? Lord. What can we tell Taurus angels with the Moonology card? Can I get one card, please, for Taurus? Please and thank you. Whoa. Oh, thank you. You see how that happened? If you were watching that, it's kind of like the tower stepping in. It went past the other cards that wanted to flip out and maybe come out and stop them from coming out to bring the exact right card for you. Oh, isn't that beautiful? This looks like the star card. Bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. Aquarius is water sign, right? They are all about the emotions, love. You have the queen of water here, queen of cups, which it's love. When you come out of this situation up here, whether you bring yourself out of it or the tower pulls you out of it, stay in a place of love, okay? Because what that will do is it will keep you open and in the receiving mode of this new love. Like I said. Okay, next deck that we're going to get a card for. This is down below too. Just ask Oracle. Hmm, that was an interesting way to bring the card out. Oh, leave the past behind you. That is always, always, always a great message. Leave the past behind you. Let this go. This is meant to be in the past. Let it go and let everything else from your past that causes you heartache or unhappiness, let it all go. This is... Synchronicity Oracle. Now this deck here, about, ha about half of the cards have numbers on them. And so this is for you. If you are seeing, if you get a numbered card and you are seeing that number, this is going to tell you what that number represents. If you aren't seeing that number, you're very likely to start seeing it after this reading, okay? And then you will know what it represents. Can we get a card? Thank you, angels. Wow. You, if you're not already seeing 1122, you may start seeing it. Now that can be on the clock as a time. It can be in license plates. It can be anywhere. Okay, it can be on your phone. If you've got, you know, 11 messages in one area and 22 in another, I don't know. But 1122 means everything is picked up speed and it's moving at double time. Things are moving twice as fast. That again is a very definite sign of divine guidance. You're being divinely guided. And there was a card in here that flipped, and I wanted to go back and see what it was. And look at it's perfect. Expansion. Do you see the butterflies? 
transformation. You are going through a spiritual expansion and transformation. And that's what this message was here with the Queen of Cups. Learning to, to listen to and understand your intuitive abilities. You are being up-leveled intuitively. Now, um, you are here at the moment-ish because time is fluid. So this is um, Seven of Pentacles. This is all about divine timing, having to take a step back and just wait for the right timing, okay? This is where you need to head to. This position of making that decision to move forward in, in um, toward a new partner in love, okay? It's about moving forward, knowing there's someone else coming your way and not being in that place of disappointment and regret and, you know, not, not being able to be in the receiving mode of this new partnership. So this is all about being in the receiving mode, okay? Just waiting for this new one to come in, this new person to come in. So, so down anyway. here is your overall energy, okay? We've got the Tower and the Eight of uh, Swords, clarified by the Queen of Wands. The Tower is clarified by what you want. The other part of your overall energy is the King of Swords, okay? Up here is getting from point A to point B. So that'll be a different deck that I use to get that guidance. But what I want to ask the angels right now is what it is that you need to do, be, think, and or feel to change your energy, to turn it around, to move through this tower experience if that's what you need to do, to get to a place um, outside of this feeling, to, to escape this feeling of being trapped in this situation. Um, and get to that receiving mode for this new relationship that the universe is trying to bring into you. Okay, angels. What does Tor Okay, thank you, angels. Okay, so your first card out, the Eight of Swords, again, you really are in a place of feeling trapped and fearful of moving forward. This is a message of you needing to realize that the feeling of being trapped or stuck in your life right now is an illusion. This isn't real. This is only in your head. That's it. You're not stuck. You can move. You maybe are afraid to let go and move forward because you think you're making the wrong decision, but it's what you need to do because if you haven't had the tower yet, that's what's going to happen. You do need to move, move forward, move away from this. Then you have the Knight of Wands. And I'm hearing take flight, which is what this kind of just said. Move away from this, move forward. Don't fear the forward motion, take flight. This is going to, and, and the Knight of Wands, it's all about moving. Right? Because this also can represent a change of residence. So this is action. Take action. Move forward. Take flight. Without fear. Don't fear this. Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is the card of deceit. 
It's also about conflict. It's also about change. Fives are change. So there are changes taking place in your world. And possibly you or, or someone else has been deceived here. This is also representative of doing, um, doing what's right, including what's right for you. So if you're staying in a situation because, you know, um, you don't want to hurt someone else, you're doing what's right for them, you need to do what's right for you. Hmm. Bottom of the clarifier deck, four of wands. You're being taken or steered or guided to a very balanced, stable, um, possibly engagement, marriage, long-term relationship, a reunion with someone that is very... Um, very important and going to be very important in your life. This could be your twin flame. You know, it's not my twin flame card, but it is a twin flame card. Now for the two cards up above, for you to get from this place of divine timing and having to wait till the timing is right to being in the receiving mode of this partner that's being brought to you, here is your advice and guidance from the angel. Thank you. Okay, first card out. Protected by angels. You are protected. You're being divinely guided. That's a given. You're always protected when you're being divinely guided. You are cherished by the angels. Oh, do you see that this is like um, Queen of Swords or a Page of Swords? It's swords, anyway. It's all about truth. Stand in your own truth. And you have solitude. In silence, peace prevails. Now, when you're going through a soulful or spiritual expansion like you are, generally we need to go through that alone. That's why that's why you're being pulled out of this partnership that you're in. It's all good. It's all good though. Because like I said, it is taking you to to this oops to this partnership. Right? This, this one is very stable. It's very balanced. It's got a very strong foundation. This is one that's going to last. Be open to it when it comes in. View from above. Here we go, the bigger picture. Yeah, get the big picture. Find a different... You had... Um, it's not... Oh, here it is. You had the hanged man. That's what this is all about. It's about getting yourself to a higher vantage point or a better vantage point so that you can see the bigger picture. Because this over here is going to be a lot better than this seems to be right now. That's the bigger picture. I'm not sure you can see the bigger picture right now, though, because if you're going through an expansion or a growth of some kind, it's really hard to see the big picture until you get that clarity. But you will gain the clarity. That's, that's the whole point here. But as long as you're in this partnership that you're in right now that feels like it's going out the back door and you're trying to stop it from doing that, it's because you don't have clarity as to what's coming. So... Allow everything to unfold naturally the way it's meant to in your life right now. And you'll see in just a, a small amount of time, you'll see exactly where it took you, where it needed to take you. And you will be so grateful to that. So grateful. 
Okay, that is everything, Taurus. This actually is a really good reading. It's really good. The energy behind it, it although it starts out as being confused and sad and maybe even heartbreaking to begin with, that's not where it ends. It ends so beautifully. It really does. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much for supporting me by being here. I love you guys. I'll see you next time.